All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at the difference between high side and low side switching with respect to our eMOSFET. So, for example, we're going to have the high side switch, which is our FET connected between VCC and the load. Whereas for the low side switch, we have the FET connected between the load and ground, as so. Right, and let's give these some values. So let's say RL is equal to 1K, and VCC is equal to 12 volts. All right, and we have an effective resistance. Okay, let's say, argument's sake, it's 10 ohms for this one. All right, and the threshold for this particular device is 3 volts. All right, same in both examples, same FET, same load. All right, VG is here. All right, so same FET, same layout, same circuit, everything. It's just the location between the FET and the uh, load resistance. So let's take the example of the high side switch to begin with. We can work out what the current would be based on that uh, circuit there. So VCC, so ID is equal to VCC of RD, oops, RL, plus RDS, All right, and that will give us a current. And we could, for example, then work out, well, what's the voltage drop across RL? So VRL would be equal to VCC times RL over RDS plus RL. Now, we know because RL is so much larger than RDS, that this is approximately going to be equal to VCC. So let's say 11.9 volts. Is what we work it out to be. We could do this and actually solve it, but arguments say it's 11.9 volts. So the voltage here, VRL equals 11.9 volts. All right, and VRL is actually equal to VS because of the way it's it's constructed there. So voltage between source and ground is the same as voltage across RL. Alright, let's have a look at what we need to be able to turn this device on. We know that BGS must be greater than the threshold voltage to be able to turn this on. So VG minus VS must be greater than VT. Or VG minus 11.9 volts must be greater than 3 volts. If we rearrange that, we find that VG must be greater than 14.9 volts in order to switch on this particular FET. Now hold on, VCC is only 12 volts. Why have we suddenly required a gate voltage of 14.9 volts? So we need 14.9 volts here to be able to switch that device on just to its threshold. It's going to need to be higher than that to actually pass any current through it. So what's happened is, because the load resistance is so much higher in resistance than the effective resistance across our FET, most of the voltage gets dropped across it, which means at VS here we get a very high voltage, all right, relative to VCC, it's a greater proportion of it. Therefore, VG, VG minus VS gives us VGS, VG, must be very large in order to be able to go 14.9 minus 11.9 gives us the 3 volts in order to switch this on. So in a high side switch, what we've ended up doing is shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit because now we need a voltage here which is greater than VCC and that's bad. We don't want to have to multiple voltage levels just to switch this device on. Especially when if we were just to use the same FET with the same components and the same power supply in the low side configuration as we've got here, all right, and we did the same calculation again, we would see that 
Vs is equal to zero volts because it's connected to ground. Therefore, Vg minus Vs to be greater than three volts, Vg only has to be three volts. Okay, because we're now working between this point and this point, rather than that this point, which has the volt drop across the resistor, still not taken into account. And that means most of the voltage has dropped across the load resistance here before we get to the fed. Right? It's not as though the power dissipation between these devices is, is different. Right? Still the same currents flowing. The only thing that's changed is the voltage that we need to apply at VGS to be able to switch this device on. And here it's 3 volts to be able to get it to threshold. In this configuration it's 14.9. And with a 12 volt power supply this is obviously the less preferred solution. If you have trouble uh, imagining how it all works, just remember that effectively in one scenario we've got this, this is the low side switch, and in the high side switch configuration we've got this, RDS and RL. Right, and we're looking at voltage from here to the adjustment, so the, on the gate here, and in this case we're looking at the voltage here to the adjustment, the voltage on the gate there. So if this voltage here is high, then VG is going to have to be greater than VCC. Right? Whereas because this is zero, this doesn't have to be so high.